Today's topic for discussion is male cone in pinus. Let us see all the details of male cone in pinus. Pinus, this porophyte of pinus, it is a monoecious plant, and it produces microsporophylls and megasporophylls. Microsporophylls are born in a male cone or staminate strobili, while the megasporophylls are formed in female cones. Pollen grains are produced within the microsporangia, whereas the oha develop in a megasporangia or the ovules which develop on the oviliferous scales. Thus, pinus plants exhibit heterospory. Let us see all the details of male cone of the pinus. The male cone of pinus it is also known as staminate strobilus. Or it is also known as microsporangiate strobilus. Male cone appear in the early spring on the base of current ears branches, branches of generally branches of unlimited growth, which show the dwarf shoot in the bud condition. A male cone develops in the axils of the bract or the scaly leaf like structures and is equivalent to a dwarf shoot. Each male cone measures about 2 to 4 cm the length and 0.75 cm in diameter. The central cone axis shows a few sterile scales at the base and the microsporophylls or the cone scales above. The microsporophylls are spirally arranged on the cone axis. Each microsporophyll shows a short stalk, a sterile tip and bears two pollen sacs or microsporangia on its abaxial or lower surface. Thus, a microsporophyll is equivalent to a stamen. This is the photograph of male cone and LS of cone. Let us see further details. Each microsporangium is a small elongated sac like structure. A semi mature microsporangium shows a 2 to 4 layer sporangial wall, a layer of tapetum and a central mass of archisporial tissue. The archisporial tissue gives rise to a number of microspore mother cells or microsporocytes. Each microsporocyte undergoes a meiotic division to form four haploid microspores or pollen grains. The haploid chromosome number in pinus is 12. The microspores obtain nourishment from the cells of tapetum. Soon the tapetum disintegrates. The pollen tetrads separate and the microsporangia get filled with numerous microspores. The microspore or pollen grain is three layer thick. The cuticular, cuticularized exine covers only one side. The entire pollen grain is covered by a second layer of exo exoentine and the inner layer intine. These two separate at the juncture where spore was attached in a tetrad to form two air sacs. Because of this, the pollen grain is often called winged pollen grain. Pinus is having winged pollen grains. Formation of microspores within the microsporangium is accompanied by a color change of the microsporangium from green to red. Eventually, the microsporangia mature and dehyce by a longitudinal slit in the wall. Mature pollen grains ex escape out through the slit in the wall of the microsporangium. Microspores released in the large number produce small yellow clouds of the pollen grains in the air. After the pollen grains are shed, the male cones dry up and fall off from the trees. This is all about male cone of the pinus.